So Marian devotion, scriptural understanding, clearly he's uh, an intellectual. Um, he lives, you know, the, the little bit that I read about his life, I mean, he clearly lived a holy, holy life, right? Yeah. So he kind of meets every, all the standards of sanctity. Why is he not St. Thomas Akempis? Ah, a very, a very interesting question you raise there. And one of the answers which is traditionally given, which is a kind of semi-legendary answer, is that they found that his body had actually moved in his tomb. And from this, they concluded that, you know, he was, he was actually buried before he had really died. Yeah, he was, yes, buried and, alive. And because Gosh. of this fact that they, that they can't say, oh, well, Possibly he didn't die in a state of perfect grace. We can't be absolutely sure because who knows what thoughts would pass through a person's mind. All right. So, but for the record, from me, if, if you live an amazing life and you're going to be canonized and then they bury you alive by accident and then you try to get out of your coffin and they strip canonization away from you, that's like... The worst, <laughs> it's like pulling the rug out from somebody. Well, uh, well all well, time well, worst pulling the rug well, out from you. Well, you know? well, it is, and, <laughs> and, it's like and the poor guy. And, and, you know? Look, and and in fact, and in fact, Connor, um, in all fairness, that story didn't really come into circulation until much, much later. Really? Because I even yeah. heard there was claw marks on the inside yeah, of the coffin. Yeah, 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 I don't know if that's true, yeah, but man, I mean, yeah, yeah, if they buried me alive, I'd try to get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean I shouldn't be yeah, canonized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, in fact, in fact, that's that story. I'm um, not saying I should be canonized, no, just for the record. No, no, no. <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't rule it <laughs> out, <laughs> uh, Me neither. Yeah. And in fact, of course, all, all, all people, all Christians are called to be saints right. because being a saint basically means being in heaven. Right. So, yeah. But, um, no, that story is really apocryphal. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a great story. But yeah, it's a great no. story. So why he wasn't canonized um, is, yeah, in fact, um, it's important to bear in mind that a person is canonized not because they write wonderful books. But um, for a range of, uh, well, for a complex range of other eventualities, which which may or may not be there, mm -hmm. and uh, the fact that a person isn't declared a saint or isn't added to the canon of saints doesn't mean that they're not a saint mm -hmm. in the sense that they're a, a person who is is very holy and so forth. So. Um, the fact that we don't call him Saint Thomas a Kempis um, doesn't in any way detract from his um, undoubtable sanctity yeah. from yeah. the fact that he is a saint. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's a, it's, it's a, I don't know. I kind of wish he was, but if we can call him venerable or blessed, you know, because the tradition does that, it makes me feel a little better. It's a nice consolation prize, you know. <laughs> Indeed. <but laughs> Indeed. Anyway.